Hello, welcome to Florian Models Kit View Time. Today we've got Zvezda's new tool 148 scale Yak 130. Uh, now, obviously, not to be um, confused with the Italian, was it the 486, whatever it's called? Uh, totally different kit, totally different aircraft as well. This is the Russian light attack uh, and also trainer aircraft. Beautiful lines. I must admit, it's very rare I get excited about modern aircraft because I don't know if it's like you're a bit like me, but I don't particularly like the shape of the uh, F 35 and the new generation of fighters and things like that but actually this thing is quite something else very very nice and because it's got that Russian way of doing things it's still got all those lovely little riveting details and the panel lines and everything else not being total composites uh, like a lot of modern aircraft so from a modeling point of view you can do far more with it and it's far more interesting to the eye as we can see looking around on the box great box art on this particular one coming in there firing off some rockets as it comes through okay quick run round in the box so we've got the usual Tamiya um, Zvezda call outs looks like we get a huge decal sheet down in there as well saying it's roughly around about 24 and a half centimeters long okay and quick run down in here and then on this side some of the kits out there and some more information down here on the back as well so again quite a nice uh, little options down in there we've got a nice little weapons load out some nice little things we can see like flaps and obviously for good interior things like that so it'll be interesting the only thing that I'm drawn to over on a close-up you can see I'm always worried when the actual uh, I'm, admittedly sometimes these can be test shots uh, sort of you know the first runs things like that of them but it doesn't look very nice especially the canopy fit and stuff like that when you're looking in there and it looks like the canopy is very very cloudy things like that so I'm always a little bit worried when I see that so your kit number for this one is 4821 as well okay so I'm just going to try and get into the box now there's the do actually I think quite a nice box there's a box in a box okay so we'll just get this little guy like this okay and then I'll say we get a box and a box which makes it nice and sturdy uh, and as you can see straight in there quite a full box as well so we've got some weapons we've got the canopy and clear parts in a foggy bag uh, a couple of decals which we're hoping there's lots more okay one bag screws and then we've also got the call outs and the instructions so usual for way we'll have a quick look down in these so we've got that information sheet okay and then the usual way it's got about a stand but i don't think we get the stand actually in the instructions unfortunately with these ones so obviously a little bit about the aircraft and then down into it usual we've got the actual sprue uh, layouts down on here straight into the actual uh, meat of it usual as you expect cockpit so we've got seats the tub all the various things going down in there and then the actual uh, tub as well doubles up as the roof of the nose wheel well which is pretty common uh, for this type of thing so obviously those being fitted down in there all the work through nice little touch with the hud looks so i've got a nice little detailed hud down in here uh, which is nice to see and then generally working our way through it is quite modular the way this is going to go in there so we do have obviously the actual uh, intake system uh, being fitted down onto these which obviously then make up the actual main gear wells as well so that actually looks a little bit fiddly with all that going down in there as we can see it like that and then obviously we've got these ones down in here I presume for the sort of uh, is it the uh, it's actually talking about clicking these through as well and actually fitting these in I assume these are the dive brakes uh, being fitted down onto those so that's those being fitted in there as well okay and then obviously back up here we've actually got the front tub going in there and all these parts making it up for this sort of modular uh, section down at the back which actually looking through looks a little bit of a handful but I'm sure by the time you get going with it and you've got a better understanding with the parts in your hand it'll probably drop together a lot nicer nozzles going down in there so it looks like we've got a lot of business going down on the engine end as well so those being fitted down in there if you are putting a stand in it it's got a slot for it anyway those being fitted down into those and then we've obviously got the veins down the back here uh, for the actual uh, the actual engine itself being fitted in again it does look quite complex how this is going to go together how many joints and seam lines you're going to have showing out of all of this is going to be a little bit interesting to see and also little things it's talking about bending slightly in to click in uh, the actual heat deflectors 
uh, from the back of the nozzles uh, being fitted in there again a little bit uh, mindful about those then obviously down in the bottom here we've got those blowing type doors which what these are talking about down in here and obviously the air brake system being fitted in and then obviously you're going down in there amongst with the actual lower parts of the wings uh, control surfaces things like that being fitted on there a little bit spooky uh, how that all goes but hopefully it'll be okay we do have separate um, leading edge slats uh, flaps uh, and things like that being put on, on here and ailerons which is quite a nice touch then we're talking about gear weaponry doors as you might imagine right the way through multitude of all that being fitted down onto there then the canopy system being fitted in there uh, that one's going to go in there as well nice little touch as well that we do get uh, various things down in here so we've actually got some fod uh, covers for the actual intakes as well and we actually get some um, chocks being fitted down into those as well all right so some nice little touches with this particular kit and then obviously talking about the pilot figures being fitted the speed brake open on the top and then deckling on the position things like that to be honest that's one of those where you look at it and often i get asked is like why do you show the instructions that's a classic example because by looking at the instructions it looks like it's a little bit of a handful just doing that midsection with all those components coming in there to make up the fuselage so by having showing that you've got a bit of an idea what you're going to be letting yourself into okay so down in here we got the decals and on the close-up as you can see so we've got the deck cord up at the top which is quite a nice way of doing it and then all the various ones down in here and some of the foreign markings as well for those as you can see right the way through plenty of detail down in those but looking at them very very nice minimal as you can see there carrier film okay so actually very nice a little bit thick maybe but generally no problem with that at all markings as we can see down in here uh, right the way through so we've got uh, the Republic of Belarus. I was actually wondering what this green one was down in here. Uh, so that answers that particular question. So we've got the standard training uh, one as well for the Russian uh, Air Force, right the way down in there as well. Um, and again, we've got the one for the Burmese one, which again, really nice with the blue. Something very, very nice about those. Okay, and then over on this side, we've got another one for another training uh, wing, as you might imagine, down in there, and for an Algerian training squadron as well. So in the Algerian markings. So again, something a little bit different about this kit, something where you can actually, you know, you're not just boxed in with a Russian trainer one, you've got some nice color options for different things. Right, where are we gonna start? Let's go in one very crinkly, Bit down in here. Now Zvezda traditionally very nice okay so when you're looking down on here the panel lining looks pretty nice a little bit of the mold isn't as polished perhaps as I'd like and um, we've got a little bit of tooling marking things like that a little bit of scraping we'll have a look at those in the close-up in a moment but generally pretty good no real sign of flash I can't see any uh, mist molds or any sink marks or anything else like that in the the plastic whatsoever some more nicer tooling markings on the inside there is on the outside okay so let's have a look around a little bit closer so we've got this underplate as well with some of these details going down in here that's a rear part section and again with the, the fin on the back and some of those details this shows how multiple part these are obviously in two parts which is the slats at the front of the wings and then the same on the other side and as you can see we've got two versions with this one or this one as well for depending on obviously which versions you're doing things like that we've got some of the wicks in section we've got some of the no sections we've got the tops catching it in the light there we go you can see what i mean about some of the tooling markings on the surface it's not as polished perhaps as we would like to see uh, but we're there this is the one that's sort of marring me a little you might be able to see a little tooling marking uh, just where the mold's been cleaned up i think post afterwards it's a little bit scratchy you can probably see it down in there it's not the cleanest Vesda kit I've seen to be honest usually they're very very nice uh, these ones are just a little bit I don't know chunky some various things but on the blind side down in here you can see how they've cleaned up some of the uh, ejector pin areas things like that as well afterwards okay so actually if we do this one this one gives us a, a, probably a better idea uh, some of the detail that's going to be actually in this kit uh, looking around at it as you can probably see there's lots of various subsections and parts so this is quite an interesting part down in here this is where we're going to be showing 
uh, obviously for those sort of blowing doors down the top, the air speed brakes to the side there, things like that. And then obviously if we flip it over, we can see actually it's quite nice because we don't have any ejector pins in this. Not that you're gonna see much down in there, to be honest. But again, generally just working our way around. You can see some of the weapons fit down in there. I do believe this is the top of the, or the underside inside of the speed brake. So we've got a little bit of wiring, things like that going down there. Intakes, seamless as in there's no ejector pins in there, but you are gonna have seams. Okay, actually some very nice tooling marking, the engineering of me coming out in there, but you can probably see that in there, that's quite nice. The tub itself, you can see basic, but it's got everything you're probably gonna need down in there. And as you can see, some very nice details, nice little touches, just like this little bit of graining work, as you can see with just the little lifter sections down there in the flaps, things like that. Okay, back end with the actual engine, the nozzle areas, things like that right the way through and the bottom side of those uh, intakes. So again, down in here with these intakes, you can see they've got no ejector pins in them, but you are gonna have some meaty seam lines in amongst it all. Again, it's just a little bit concerning about some of the, the joins in all of this. So we've got some nice wiring, it's gonna be inside your main gear wells, some nice little details down in there. We have got the odd little ejector pin mark in amongst it though. Okay, so more of the smaller parts again some very nice parts down in here. We have got little bits and pieces, uh, but not on them, of little bits of uh, uh, ejector pins, things like that, but they're not actually on any of the parts. Again, very nicely done. You can see no ejector pins down on these wheel wells. Again, some of these smaller sections. We've got the HUD section down here at the bottom. Okay, working ourselves uh, going up. You can see all the smaller parts Pretty nice right the way through. Got these bulkheads, head wells, things like that. Very nicely done. Some interesting tooling, the way they've done this. But again, I can't help but feel it, it looks incredibly complex. Okay. So, next we're into the weapons and things. So, again. We've got some, uh, these ones down in here. Very nice with the pylon, all molded in one so you don't have to worry about lining up the fin. So we've got two of those. We've got the pilot figure just down in here. Again, nice touch. Pilot doesn't look too bad at all. Two part with torso and arms, all separate. Separate wheels and hubs. We've got the other pilot on the other side. And the actuators down in here for the uh, flaps being open or closed. Nice, nice, very good. Okay, down in here we've actually got uh, one of the pods for the big old rockets, things like that. Again, nice detail, can't see any problem with those. Two of those, as you might expect. And then two of these as well. So we've got the seats, seat pan, all the smaller little details, head boxes, things like that for the seats. And then we've got the actual engine nozzles. Uh, we've got the tyres, got a little bit of detail on the side of the tyres, the nozzles, even just down to the grip down in here, looks very nice indeed. Plenty of detail on this kit, ejection handles, things like that. Very nice indeed. Okay, last up we've got the clear parts. Chunky old ziplock bag. So we're hoping, and we are. Thank God for that, they're not as bad as what's on the box. But again, different ways of doing this. We're showing it with the deck cord and without. So if you wanted to, you could go with the deck all for your deck cord, or you've got this one here. Unfortunately, it's just raised, it's not recessed. If it's recessed, it's a doddle, because you can just literally go in there with a wash uh, to put your deck cord in. But there is a, another little trick to doing that if using the clay wash to pop that in, okay? But generally, you can see a lot cleaner and nicer parts. No problem with those. A little bit of scuffing on them, but that's pretty minor stuff. And all the lights and seeker heads and things like that, as you might imagine, heads up display glass, things like that down in there as well. So actually, I'm pretty torn with this kit. Having looked at it now, and obviously seen the kinetic sort of version-ish uh, of it, it's one of those ones where because of the shape, it's very difficult to injection mold it and get all that detail in the angles and everything else. So I can understand completely why the engineering side of it has had to do it very, very modular. There's a lot of detail, and to show all that detail through, it means it needs to have a lot of parts to be able to get the injection molding done for it. The downside is it looks like it's gonna be a bit of a handful trying to get all that together. Now, obviously I haven't built it, so I can't comment, but I would hope that the parts are quite clean, and what's gonna happen then is obviously when you're going through the, the ins and outs of putting it together, you're not gonna have any big problems 
problems and alignment issues that again they then be a knock-on effect because the only trouble is when you get so many sub assemblies going on in that type of environment you get one out they all go out okay and it can make things really bad near the end when you've got something that just doesn't fit but hopefully those are going to be good to be honest, Zvezda have come such a long way in such a short time over the last few years and having built a lot of their kits now, I've never really had a problem. So it just be fingers crossed that that goes together with no real problems. It is a very striking aircraft. Got some great options just out of the box with that one as well. So from that point of view, it will definitely be finding its way into my stash and I'd be love to put it together later on in the year. So there we go, that's Zvezda's 148 scale Yak 130.